How's it going everyone? So uh, this is going to be a different video than what I've seen on YouTube about uh, Ross Cameron and Warrior Trading. Uh, most of the videos I've seen are uh, students who have been through his Warrior Pro Trading course. Um, other videos are saying that Ross Cameron is a fraud, he's a scam artist, and that he uses his followers to pump up the stocks and then he gets out whatever the case what this video is going to be is um, if you have watched any one of Ross's pre-market videos like he's doing right now or any of his other videos you know that he says uh, that it's very important that new traders uh, do not blindly follow him so what we are going to do using the simulator here is we are going to blindly follow his trades to see what happens? How much money can we win? How much money can we lose? Um, so this is what we're going to go over. So it's currently three minutes to the bell, three or four minutes. And uh, the one thing that people who decide to blindly follow him um, need to realize is that he posts, he streams to both Facebook and YouTube, and I believe he uh, streams to his uh warrior pro trading platform so right now this is the live feed on august 7th at 9 26 a.m um and he has said that today he is going to go uh and do a free um market uh, a, a free stream for youtube and facebook so people can experience what it uh, basically a preview of what the warrior um trading pro thing is so <coughs> excuse me um, I'm going to turn the volume up on here just a little bit. Bring him online. So what I'm going to do um, before we get started, because we got two minutes to the bell, is I'm going to have this little pop-up right here of him uh, from YouTube playing, and I'm going to follow each stock that he's playing. Uh, and I'm going to play with 2,000 shares. Um, I don't really care about price and how much I'm how much I'm playing with, how much my capital is, but if you want, you can uh, pay attention to the stock buying power up here, um, or the just the P and L that we'll uh, we'll keep open here on the left. I'm sorry, the right. Um, but whenever he says I'm long, I'm going to press buy market. I'm going to pretend as if I'm a a trader who is not using limit orders or stop losses or anything else like that. I'm just going to blindly follow him. Uh, whenever he's going to say uh, I'm adding there, I'm going to, uh, after I buy market and get to get into a position, uh, I'm going to press buy and here he is uh, saying his disclaimer. So Stocks on watch that you like. If you do, what's the condition of the overall market? And remember, this is a classroom. Class is in session right now. Mm -hmm. It is not a good idea for any of you to try to mirror trade me or blindly follow me or anyone else for that matter because you want to learn my strategy and through all of my classes I teach you my strategy I teach you exactly how I trade and you can see the live trading archives and everything else so I'm uh, I'm here to help you but you have to be able to you know help yourself and, and actually try to learn the strategy mm -hmm. don't just blindly follow it we've got about a minute to the bell here I'm gonna move the gap scanner out of the way because once the bell rings I'm not gonna be watching the gap scan I'm gonna be watching the high day momentum scanner RKT. Um, okay, so um, yeah, one minute to the bell. So what I'm going to do is I have the level twos open right here. And the reason I have a simulator here and the real trading platform up in here is because uh, the real data on the live platform seems to update faster than anything. But um, I'm going to try and blindly follow him and see where we get to. So I'm going to turn his up a little bit. Is and on watch. see what we get. <clears throat> ANPC, I'll watch. We'll see whether or not it halts going down or what it does. KZIA, <coughs> I'll watch. Excuse me. So uh, 15 SG, seconds. Also, uh, notice this. Volume, but if volume comes in, because when holding, we go live here up, uh, in right, eight seconds, levels pretty well. All -time he's still got about up here around 17, 18. There is a blue sky above that level. Seven second delay. There's a seven so, second delay between. Let's watch ANPC at the open and kind of see what kind of market. All right, we so have he's doing ANPC. Store. 
ANPC selling off a little bit. No surprise there. So I'm listening out and I'm waiting for him Starting to get into an NPC of 2200 shares. I'm just going to try to do like a little dip trade back up towards 10. Oh, great. I I'll, honestly don't think that this is going to I don't know why the simulator really, does really this. Really good trade, Let's do but this real quick. 2000 share starter. I'm I apologize for this. So I want to see if it's going to be able to break over I don't know why the uh, simulator um, the high of that candle goes out like that. Um, or it fails to share, or uh, I'm sorry, fill an order on the simulator, it's kind of frustrating. And I'm just going to blur out my details there. So I took my profit, or I, I took the loss actually, and I'm going to put my new order for a dip trade. I'll see what it does around 9. Yeah, not off to, not off to a good start with this video. Fault level going down is 846. So I'm probably way out of the money by now, because i got to restart but, this thing. You know, it's trading. But... Trading the back we'll side does. of the move a little so bit. So I'm just going to get out. All right. So there you go. It's below the volume Lost for rate average price. So I'm just going to keep watching them. Now that I've logged out and logged back in, it should fill orders pretty easily, and we'll we'll quickly just test it with one share. So, yeah, I don't know why it does I see that. RKT. Go back to two thousand. Take a long on RKT there, just to try to ride the momentum up towards twenty six fifty. Shit, he's on rocket. Over twenty six ten would be an add. Adding there twenty six ten. Shit. RKT. And I would add. I'll add again there. 26438. So I'm going to add. So RKT, I'm just going to try to get this squeeze uh, here to work for me. Uh, up over 27 is the next spot to add. Watching. Mm -hmm. Adding with Now it. we're starting to just get some real momentum on it. So watch here over adding there at 75 on RKT. Looking for the break of $27. So as you see, so clearly we are not. Uh, we're not matched up here. Notice uh, my price There's is here 60. and his price is here. One minute pullback is going to be a dip opportunity. Watch this over 70. So if he says I'm all out, I'm going to press this flatten button, which is going to get me completely out of the trade. There's 58. When he says I'm going to take profit, I'm going to press this sell market button. So we'll see. Sold uh, for a profit of four thousand bucks. So currently, see right there, I blindly followed him, I'm and I went negative twelve hundred dollars. This is exactly why he trade, says, "Do not blindly follow him," because the the big difference is here is if I <laughs> by myself wasn't following him and I knew his strategy, I could watch this popping up like he was see what it does. and I can see its resistance levels and everything like that. But, um, since there is a, what did we say, a seven, eight second delay, he was already out of the trade while I was still holding it because by the time he sees something on his screen and it goes a a through his screen sharing platform uh, and out to YouTube and then across the entire world where everyone's watching this, it takes eight seconds. There's a, a lot can happen in eight seconds. So yeah, I bought this uh, and my cost basis went up to 2620. So I just uh, had a hard time. Some I didn't get, I had a really hard time selling uh, when it was up there in the 50s, 60s, and then stopped out as it came back down just above also, break even. Also, this is my one-minute chart if you're following, and this is my five-minute, which I need to expand. Sorry about that. And I'm kind of blocking the level two. My bad. There we go. We'll keep the level two SG, right there. SG, I have on the level two uh, with an order at 11 ready, just watching it for a break of 11. You said SG? RKT. What's SG? Serious? Uh, watching RKT. Nope, nope. Let me just go back to RKT. 
So I'm going to get in with him when he does. First one minute candle to make a new high on RKT is what I'm kind of watching. So back over 26. I'm long RKT there at 72. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to buy that dip. Long with him. And I'm looking for it to curl back up over the half dollar. Still holding uh, 7,500 shares. Looking for the break back over 2550 and then over uh, 26. So, no, like I said, out. Oh, he stopped uh, out. Now down 150 bucks on RKT. So, gave so back the full I got out with him. Um, like I said, I'm blindly following him in real time. But since there's an eight second delay, he's so getting I was out. Long right there and then stopped down here. And my order execution on this one is not very good. So, um, I'm trying to follow him as best as I can uh, to make this as authentic as possible. Um, I'm not even paying attention to the level twos um, or the charts, really. I'm ANPC. Okay, I see that. Long ANPC there for the break over 12 or 10. Halt level's 1034. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to try to hold this into a circuit breaker halt for a squeeze up to the volume weight average price. Yes, AMPC, holy hell. Okay, so I'm there with them. I'm just blindly following them. I gotta switch between, I gotta update this chart Holding here and update here. Holding shares into the halt. Okay, so. New orders at uh, 10.50 to add. So RKT, predictably choppy. Okay. Oop, if I, RKT, there we go. Um, actually, I could just go to recent. I don't know why I'm not clicking that button. There we go. SG needs to break over 11. Oh, now we're on SG. Okay. Uh, SG. So, I'm going to watch with him um, to see how he's doing. But so far. Uh, you can see that my profit and loss is like negative 1800 so far on RKT scanners so ANPC uh, this was a kind of curling action off the low so oh, my next order right. on it is 1050 so uh, since I bought with him on ANPC, I'm still negative. Uh, my fill was at 1035. SG is lighter volume. Oop. Creates a little bit more risk. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to put an order here at 1105. Watching. Okay, watch it with him. There's 1110. Newton. I'm going to move my order up to 1150. The halt level is 1187. Sorry, I think I jumped. I want to see if the it gun. holds 11. He might be in it. I don't know. I, I got it. 1145, 1187. So this one's broken 11. I'm watching on a dip. I've got um, 430,000 shares of volume right now. Halt level's 1199. Did you say 430,000? Damn. He might have meant 4,300. I'm going to move my order up to 12. Forty four hundred and thirty thousand. There's 500,000 shares of volume. Where's my calculator? I just want to see how much money he's playing with. Whoa, calculator. So 430. So now that we've got a little bit more volume oh, on this. <laughs> 430,000 times 11.50. Let's do that. I yeah, I'm pretty sure that he misspoke because that's $5 million dollars worth of capital. <laughs> so anyway, let me watch him. Hmm. ANPC resumption will be in about two minutes. ANPC. Yep, so for us it'll be 9 40 and 42 seconds, so up here. 
So he's still watching SG. So let me go back. KZIA is curling up a little bit as well. The high a day is eight dollars. <laughs> Watch KZAI for a possible rip up through eight. I'm long KZAI there. So KZAI? I'm going to add over 810. Adding there at 811. I guess and I the halt level is 819 on KZAI. Maybe IA? Maybe? KZIA. There you go. So okay. watch here Whatever. over at 815. I want to buy this dip. I can't even see the charts. KZIA. Watching the ad. This is one where I'm looking at uh, the potential over 810, 815. Adding there at 90, looking for the retest at 8. Sorry, I'm trying to add with them and everything. Is it going to break back over 8? No, stopped out for a okay. $2,400 loss. Okay. So whenever he says stopped out uh, is when I press flatten, which is I'm just getting out of the position completely. And you can see I took a $421 loss because I blindly followed him. ANPC watching. Okay. Adding on ANPC there and looking for the break over 1050. Sorry, I'm trying to bounce There's my 42. charts. Here. Let me flush there. I'm going to look for a dip on this. Boy, today is a tricky day. Uh, wow. ANPC, call going down is at 13. I want to see whether or not I can do a dip trade on it. So it sounds to me like he's still holding, but I'm like negative $2,300 by holding. Me personally, I wouldn't let it go past. <laughs> let, no. Watching. Orders at 17 if it does a false halt. Uh, Watching. So. We'll see what happens. I'm still holding small size at 10. Usually on this type of setup, I look for a dip on resumption. Okay, so he is still holding. is also uh, back at the low. The low on KZIA is 719. So we're seeing very choppy markets today where we're seeing some of these stocks pop up to new highs and then come all the way back down to the low. Mm -hmm. That's difficult price action. And that's certainly a, a lack of follow through. And if I had, this was my real capital, I, I hope someone out there is not blindly following him because if they're playing, I don't think there should, anyone who has as much capital as I'm playing with the, in the simulator, which is, uh, I think we started at $200,000. I don't think if they blindly follow him, they'll be that kind of dumb to gamble that much money. But so far we are negative 2800 so 2900 what's he watching uh 420 we'll do some math here in a second i want to make sure i stay with them so uh let's pull up the calculator again real quick so let's see Put you right here. Actually, no, we have a calculator on. So on the ANPC resumption. So we have I'm what? to try to do a, a dip trade. The low is uh, 86. So I'm going to look for a bounce. 6 uh, off the lows. plus 421 was the other one. What else did we go on? Rocket. What was it? KZIA. I'll watch that for a bounce off the low. So as well. blindly following them. I'm down five grand by blindly following him, which is what he warns about every single day that he uh, does these pre-market forecasts.
So ANPC. Resumption on ANPC will be uh, 9, 47, and 59 Four. seconds. 49 seconds, roughly. Mm, well, mine might be off than what he, mine's different than what he sees. So he's still watching ANPC. So we'll see uh, how he does. Let's see how far behind are we lagging in his time frame for us. So uh, at 50, so 50. So my Amazon swing trade. Was 45. Might, uh, Ross, on this one, out of the way. I'm set a stop. I'm down 200 bucks. So it looks like it. the YouTube uh, feed is down Amazon to really um, needs to break back five over the volume weight average price and squeeze back up towards 32.40. The overall market is breaking the view app so I'll give Amazon a chance but I'm gonna have that one uh, ready to close out if I don't see uh, if I don't get uh, kind of a good good follow-through on it so so I'm still long on a and PC just like he is um, yeah. at uh, I'm at a twenty three hundred dollar position and my I am in at where is uh, my buy price I bought at ten thirty four because I, I was blind first with daily so to make a new high um, what is he yeah, on? I see that that's a, that's a technical setup SSNT but not sure we'll pull that up on the scan or on the charts anyway just so we can keep this authentic Ooh. resumption about a minute away on ANPC yep I'm getting there Ross hold on had a nice squeeze at the open on RKT. Uh, RKT back over 2550. You know, could be a nice long. I'll take a starter there on RKT and I'll look to add. That's the first five minute candle to make a new I'll high. So I'll look to on. add as it gets closer to 26 to see if I can scale up uh, for the next nice trade on it. There's 657. So I'm just following him, blindly following him, not even looking at the charts. Well, <laughs> and I'm gonna watch ANPC. So ANPC, yep. I'm gonna be watching uh, off of nine. I sold RKT for profit. Shit. ANPC, so. waiting. Okay, ANPC. Here we go. All right, following what he's doing. Adding long RNP ANPC there. There's a big buyer that just popped up. So now over um, 950. Watch over the half dollar of 945, 947. Adding at 47. I brought my cost basis down to 37 um. from 10, and I sold at 44 when it couldn't break the half dollar. So that turned from a loser oh. to a small winner on ANPC. Sorry, I just I, I guess I was missing something with the adjusting it. So I guess he got all the way out. Um, but yeah, I'm negative 24, 21. First one minute candle to make a new high was 32. So we'll do a $500 share, or sorry, 500 shares. What are you looking at now? KZIA. KZIA is also still on watch. There we go. Um, I don't have any position with that one. I think I do with Rocket. Nope, I'm empty on that one. SG? Okay, I'm still holding SG. So coming back up to the volume weighted average price, the second time the high of the last attempt was 819, and then it failed. Oh, it's, it's on hold. RKT dropping back down towards support. Okay. Let me catch up with you. CDNT with a higher float. CD I wasn't sure whether or not um, CNDT it was going to be something C I should N go for. DT. But yeah, I, I see that. Nice, nice follow through. Sometimes it's ones like this, even with a higher float, that just really start to get some strength. So 418 is the next spot I would watch. 
So it broke 418, that could have been a micro pullback. I'm gonna move my new order up. The high is 425, so new order goes at 425. If it can hold these levels. So I'm just going solely off of what he's doing. Long there at 419. Okay. Adding at 424 right there, and All now right. we're going to squeeze up to 430. So this is one of those setups where I look to buy right underneath that breakout spot. Watching the break of 425. Mm -hmm. I'm just focusing up here. I'm just There's listening to him. 22. I'm not watching the charts. I'm not watching the level twos. I'm not doing anything else except blindly following him. Sold break even uh, $300 loss for right now. Oops. I hope to come back to it, but it didn't break over 25 quickly enough, and I'm in this so, little high, so I'll let it pull back. Form a nice. I got out when he got out. Back in. Um, or a little bit thereafter. But remember, there's a delay between Our his screen PT and my screen. So Coming back down to the lows. All right, let me. New orders at 25. I'm just going to do 500 on this one. 66,000, long at 25. Just 2,000 shares. New order goes at 40. Did he say RKT? Is he still showing CDNT or CNDT? I think he's on RKT because he said 25, which is false breakout here. and back out. Okay. So what's next? So again, this is why he says you should not blindly follow him because so I have KZIA came back down towards the low. RKT is bouncing off the low. So not seeing really good follow through here. Uh, I'm up 7,923. All, almost all of the profit is on ANPC. My daily goal is 10,000. So I'm $2,000 away from the daily goal. ANPC I am actually like is at 886. <laughs> double past uh, the negative of your that would be daily a goal. Place to either have my stop or to look for a bounce. So yep, still uh, still blindly following. All of a sudden there, CNDT pops back up. CNDT, okay. So hit a high of 35. Watch a micro pullback and then a break over 35 for another another attempt. So notice um, the two uh, charts here. His one minute, but you can tell it's my one minute. Higher flow. It's more thickly traded. It's not breaking out uh, quite as well. So it looks like it's pushing up to 30. It's SSNT. I see that. It's light on volume right now. Ooh, why are we so far out? It's also halted. CNDT. No, no, it's not. CNDT again. Orders at 37. Okay. Just above the breakout. Adding there, 35. Now looking to add again over 40. Now it's starting to open up a little bit more. So watching CNDT over 38, 39. Yeah, I'm just following Adding them. there at 39 for the break through 40. I'm going to add with Next them. target, 45, 50, the half dollar. So now we're starting to see, even though the volume and the float is a little higher, uh, that it's opening up a bit. Taking so. a little profit off the table puts me green on the name. And okay. I'm going to put a new order at 50. I'm going to take some profit by pressing 21 million shares of volume I think he's still holding I'm still holding 500 so the high of this candle is 43 orders at 450 for the next trade I can punch it at 43 to try to anticipate the break through the half dollar see my chart so 444 and his is down at 440 nice bounce on ANPC off the low
sold another half of my um, CNDT position. Stop is at break even on the rest, and I just got stopped on the rest. Okay, so. I'm gonna. So, he stopped out, and I'm about seven hundred dollars of profit on CNDT now. Negative um, eighty. <laughs> Ross, where are you going? Come back. You have to help me lose more money. Ross. Okay, thank you. I missed you. But yeah, so um, I hope this video is kind of showing what happens when you... Um, blindly follow someone uh, any trader it could be uh, it could be Ross or, or any number of people who do these live feeds on Facebook and YouTube it just shows that it, it's it's better financially for you to learn the strategies and learn what's going on rather than just on the blindly following them so he Looks said like it's going into a hall car on a one minute pullback I hope this is the right one. Carve? Carve. Okay, he went back to CDNT. Or CNDT. CNDT. Very light volume on OPHC. OPHC? So what he's doing is he's looking at his, uh, his um, what do you call these, um, scanners. And uh, whenever one pops up that's a noise you hear, um, he looks at it and he, maybe, it's, maybe it's something he could trade. Um, so yeah, like I said, we're just, we're just following him. Wherever he goes, we go. Whenever he says buy, we're buying. Wherever he says sell or he's selling, then, then we're selling. He's not, um, he has yet to even mention to us, the viewers, or anyone out there, like, um, hey, you you should all buy this. He has not said anything. He has never given an order to the viewers. He's just showing you what he's doing. What are you looking on? OPHC still. OPHC. There we go. So uh, let's go to 500 shares on this one. So we started at 199,000 up here uh, for my stock buying power. Um, and now we're down to 165. And do I have an open position? Uh, those are the ones I traded today. Oh well, I'll look in a second. OPHC going a little higher, but still, um, you know, very light volume. How much volume? Do you, oh, CNDT again? CNDT, first one minute candle to make a new high right there. He's back at AMPC. Trying to keep up with him on my charts. You can see how AMPC keeps bouncing off that 85 support level. I was talking about. I wouldn't want to be here. holding if it breaks. So, bam, but. bam. So he's talking about. Uh, let me down. Where's my. <sighs> he is talking about this level here. Bam, straight across. So that's where it keeps bouncing. So, up, boing, me, boing, 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 me, boing. So, yeah. What is that? CLSK? Yeah. CLSK. Oh, I probably should have just looked on the scanners. Because I looked right here, and my screen ha doesn't have a very high resolution for what I'm recording on, so I'm kind of like straining. Okay, now he's back to ANPC. So what I need in order to have a, a really nice big green today is a stock to break the volume weight average price and, and really rip to make a big move. I'm up 8,900 bucks at the moment. I'm a little bit below my 
uh, daily goal, but I think I am exactly you know, opposite it just of you takes there, buddy. One stock to really open up. ANPC has support well, in around 85. I've been recording for about 30 minutes, so um, so this one off that level. Ross, be, I'm going um, to go ahead and an entry. shut you down. Um, but yeah, guys, um, if you've made it this far in the video, this this is where I'm going to cut it off. Uh, pay attention when he says, you know, don't blindly follow him or anyone else. You need to learn the strategies that he teaches um, to be profitable. Uh, and you need to understand what these patterns he's trading is, what is the volume, what's, you know, what the new five-minute candle to make a new high, why he does that, the VWAP, all this stuff. Because if we go through our trades that we blindly followed him today, let, let's do the let's do the math. I was uh I was trading with two thousand shares on on each one, um just to just to just to throw a, a number out there, uh, and mostly because these are my buttons that I had available, so two thousand was the max. That's what I did. So two four two one plus that's A and PC plus eighty. Plus KZIA, 421, plus RKT, ooh, that's a big number, 1836, plus SG, wow, that's a big number. Oh, I'm still holding. Let me get out of that. Wow, okay. <laughs> I must have missed wherever he said whatever. Um, I think he said he was still long on on that at, at 10, I believe. Maybe he stopped out and I, I didn't catch it. But regardless, I was blindly following him today. So even if I was blindly following him, that was a genuine thing that I missed because I wasn't paying attention. But we're going to add this to it. So 2, 4, 4, 0. So he said he was up 8,000 on the day. Um, and I am exactly, uh, almost exactly opposite of that. I am negative $7,198 because I blindly followed him. I didn't do any due diligence. I didn't do pay attention to any of these charts. I did nothing except just blindly following him. And that is a $7,200 mistake if that was my real money. So... Um, Hope this video helps. Um, you can do what I do. You could just watch him and, and watch his free videos that he posts. Uh, do your research. Learn what all these uh, all these candlesticks and the patterns and the VWAP, uh, volume, RSI, MACDs, the vol the level two. Learn it all. Understand it. Um, because if you go in and blindly follow them, you're going to lose money. And I hope this video has showed. Uh, has shown that th that's true. There is there's weight to it. Um, so, uh, yep. Yeah, thanks thanks for watching. If you made it this far, um, see you later.